Series 5 Apple Watch just announced, and the key differentiator here is that there is an always-on display, so you won't have to tap or flip your wrist to be able to see what time it is and also get other key metrics, including many more health tracking metrics. Um, so this will still have the 18-hour ba battery life as well as a built-in compass. Now, this new generation Series 5 watch will um, start at $399, $499 if you want cellular access at, as well. That's the same cost as the last generation, but with new bells and whistles included. And they announced a lower price point for the Series 3 watch. So two generations ago, those will now start at $199. They also introduced a range of new colors and designs. Um, more customizable. Um, so they've just moved on. Tim Cook is back on stage. Um, but I do want to note that Fitbit moved lower on this news. Guys, back over to you. Julia, thanks. Yep, Fitbit right around session lows. Dan Ives, uh, the Apple analyst, and Ed Lee of the New York Times are standing by. Uh, gentlemen, uh, we've had look at Roku shares, by the way, down big time today on the uh, Apple TV news. Yeah, the, it seems like it's sort of like this, uh, an Amazon moment where you hear about Amazon getting into someone's space and all of a sudden the attendant uh, issues around that. Uh, start to drop. So I, I think with the Roku dropping, that significantly shows you, you know, it, there's a lot of confidence in what Apple's trying to do here with their subscription business, with their video business. The other key thing about Apple TV is that they announced it's launching in 100 countries simultaneously. Basically, there's no sort of waiting to get rights for international rollouts. They've got, you know, 1.4 billion devices activated around the globe, and they're going to take advantage of that right away. So I think that it's, it's a huge signal, again, that they're super serious and that, you know, if you're in a if you're a standalone in that space like Roku is, it, you, you could be vulnerable. And Dan, we talk a lot, you know, about the watch and how uh, successful a product it's been, but it still doesn't get that much attention on Wall Street. Today's announcements, which include, uh, you know, the always on feature and perhaps significantly uh, 199 bucks for the Series 3 uh, from a couple generations ago. How big a deal will that be for the shares, do you think? Yeah, I think it's a bigger deal than, than is appreciated by the street. And it continues to be Apple's world and everyone else is paying rent in terms of on the watch side. And I think this is them sort of doubling down, being more aggressive. And kind of what Ed alluded to, I think you combine this with that services announcement of 499 you got whiteboards going up across Roku, Netflix, Disney. I mean, this is an all-hands-on-deck moment for competitors. Right. And looking at that price point, I think what we want to see later on when they talk about the iPhone is, is not necessarily the high-end, but how are they going to price the low-end phone? I think consumers are that much more price conscious now because they're seeing a sort of a level playing field with what's a, the, the technology and what's available with the Chinese competitors, with Samsung. So it, price is going to be that much more of a factor uh, for people buying in.